Middle of the summer break. So, <laughs> so we are here, middle of the summer break. We are in Mallorca, um, getting everything ready for the for the season opener, twenty uh, second, twenty third of November in Riyadh. Um, we have a big summer break, but we have a lot of work. We have a lot of stuff to develop, to verify, to make sure that at, at least we start in the same level as we finished uh, in New York, which was very, very high. Um, so, yeah, it has been uh, good to chill out for a few weeks, but the uh, work has been very intense too. Uh, a gente está aqui no meio do, do verão uh, europeu, entre o final da temporada passada e o começo em Riyadh, mas assim, o trabalho não para, nós estamos uh, o tempo todo tentando melhorar o carro, desenvolver, uh, a gente está testando, vai testar de novo mais alguns dias para conseguir chegar no, no, no melhor resultado possível, no melhor nível possível para a gente começar o campeonato com o pé direito, já com bons, uh, bons pontos, quem sabe vitórias. Uh, it's super cool, this new livery, I, I really, really enjoy. It is uh, super aggressive, I really like this contrast between the, this orange, reddish e-tron color with the black carbon, uh, the, the shuffle green is also um, better being metallic. I made even a new helmet to fit with, uh, better with the color, so I think the car looks very, very good. It looks aggressive, it looks faster than last year, but now we have to make sure that it is faster than last year. O novo design do carro ficou muito, muito legal, muito agressivo. Eu gosto muito desse contraste, é, desse laranja avermelhado do e-tron com, com o carbono, é, com esse verde metálico da Shaffler, ficou muito legal. Até modifiquei um pouco o meu capacete para ficar mais parecido com esse, com, esse, com, esse, com esse design novo. Então, agora o carro já, pelo menos ele está muito agressivo, muito rápido de ver. A gente precisa fazer ele rápido na pista. All the fans, they can really expect a very close, tight, very competitive season. Uh, we have two new manufacturers joining. We have Mercedes and Porsche. They will uh, definitely be very, very competitive. Um, we have two more cars. So we have now 24 drivers, very high level drivers, uh, 11 manufacturers. I think only one team is a customer team. So everybody's building their own drivetrain, is, is putting their technology, their know-how into the car. Um, it's just very, very nice to see uh, this level of maturity that Formula E has gone um, and it becoming more and more professional, it will be more and more difficult to win races and to be consistent with results. So the only thing I can expect is the hardest season ever and I have to prepare myself the best way possible. Uh, sem dúvida, os fãs podem esperar uma temporada muito competitiva. Tem dois, duas montadoras novas, a, a Porsche e a Mercedes, é, entram na categoria. Agora a gente tem 11 montadoras, é, cada um fazendo o seu, uh, seu, seu próprio motor, diferencial, câmbio, toda a parte traseira do carro, cada um faz o seu. É, porém, eu acho que isso vai, vai, vai tornar a categoria ainda mais competitiva. A gente vai ter que trabalhar ainda mais para conseguir bons resultados. There are a lot of changes happening in Formula E, but I'm glad to say that uh, some companies that started with us at the beginning, like Scheffler, uh, played a very, very important role in all development, all our victories, all our podiums uh, so far. And I'm very happy to say that they will continue with us, giving us the support, giving us the technology, giving us the know-how uh, to make sure that we have the best powertrain possible and we can fight for victories, we can fight for podiums, uh, we can fight for drivers and teams championship, hopefully this year. É, na Fórmula E a gente está tendo muitas mudanças, mas algumas coisas boas uh, ainda tem continuidade. A Scheffler, que está com a gente desde a temporada 1, vai continuar, vai colocar todo o, o know-how, a tecnologia, uh, o conhecimento de motores elétricos, de powertrain elétrico. Uh, no, no carro da temporada 6 que a gente está testando aqui e eu tenho certeza que isso, uh, essa tradição, essa, esse conhecimento só vai ajudar a gente a conseguir melhores resultados mesmo na temporada 6. Also als allererstes habe ich natürlich mal nach der Saison die Zeit genutzt, um einfach mal zu entspannen, äh, um ganz ehrlich zu sein, einfach mal abzuschalten, auch alles drumherum, was Social Media und so angeht, ein bisschen zurückzuschrauben und mal ja, wieder runterzukommen. Und ich glaube, das hat ganz gut funktioniert, weil man dann merkt, wie man 
wieder unruhig wird und wie man wieder Lust drauf bekommt, wieder loszulegen. Und ähm, ja, so richtig Pause ist natürlich auch nicht wirklich. Wir haben ja uns trotzdem mit Tests beschäftigt. Ich bin ja trotzdem auch in der Firma und auch für Audi unterwegs gewesen. Und jetzt merke ich natürlich, dass es wieder, dass es wieder losgeht und freue mich sehr drauf. Uh, well, first of all, after New York, I really did take a break, uh, try to just relax a bit, go on holidays, um, you know, step back from social media and everything also a bit to just um, yeah, charge the battery again and to feel excited again also to go racing. I think after a long season, it's, it's good to, to have that, uh, yeah, to recover. And I feel that now I'm, I'm ready and I'm, I'm really excited to go back racing and I cannot wait till the season finally starts. Ja, also als ich gerade in die Box gelaufen bin und das Auto zum ersten Mal gesehen habe, da muss ich sagen, ähm, kam mir ein sehr breites Grinsen ins Gesicht. Für mich definitiv das äh, schönste Design, das wir bisher hatten. Ähm, sehr mutig, äh, auch mal eine andere Farbe zu wählen mit dem Orange, äh, mit dem e-tron Orange, was einfach super cool ausschaut. Und ich glaube auch der Rest vom Design, wie es zusammengesetzt ist, äh, schaut super aus. Und äh, ich hoffe, dass es genauso schnell fährt, wie es aussieht. Yeah, as I just entered the, the garage, I really had a huge smile on my face because I, I think this is the best design we ever had on a Formula E car. Um, it's different also because of the e-tron orange uh, and I, I really just, just like it. I think it looks aggressive, it looks fast uh, and yeah, we will try to make sure that it's uh, at the front and people get to see it a lot on TV. Ja, also eins ist für mich definitiv klar, das wird äh, die härteste Formel E Saison, ähm, die wir je vor uns hatten. Ich glaube, das sagen wir jedes Jahr, aber das ist auch definitiv wahr, wenn man Porsche und Mercedes äh, als, als Konkurrenz hinzubekommt, dann äh, kann man nicht schlafen, dann kann man sich nicht ausruhen, dann weiß man, dass es, dass es hart wird. Aber ich glaube, wir nehmen die Herausforderung an, wir freuen uns drauf. Ähm, wir haben äh, bisher immer sehr erfolgreiche Jahre gehabt und wir wollen natürlich auch weiterhin daran anknüpfen und das wird das Ziel sein. Ähm, wir haben neue Strecken. Ich glaube auch, das ist immer schön zu sehen, dass wir neue Märkte erschließen und dass auch die Formel E sich weiterentwickelt und äh, ja, genauso sind auch viele bekannte Strecken wieder dabei. Also ich glaube, die Fans können sich auf eine Megasaison freuen, äh, wird wahnsinnig spannend und wir werden alles geben. Okay, so. Well, one thing is clear, it's going to be the toughest Formula E season ever. Um, that's something we always say ahead of a season, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's true because we have two manufacturers joining and it's Mercedes and Porsche and we are well aware that They are not just here for fun, they want to win and so do we, so we have to step up our game, we have to push, we have to really think about every little detail to, to improve and to be successful uh, this season again and uh, that's, the, that's a clear goal. And then of course also to see new tracks coming in, that's always something exciting. Um, yeah, I think Formula E will just keep on growing and as always I'm, I'm, a, yeah, I'm very happy that I'm part of it. Ja, also ich glaube, äh, natürlich muss man sich weiterentwickeln als Team, aber ich glaube, bei uns sieht man einfach, dass Stabilität sich auch auszahlt und das äh, fängt mit den Fahrern an, aber das ist natürlich auch mit den, mit den Partnern, die wir drumherum haben, ähm, die uns seit Anfang an unterstützen und dafür, dafür sorgen, dass wir erfolgreich sind. Ähm, Schäffler, glaube ich, muss man da äh, ja, hervorheben fast schon. Die sind natürlich nicht nur mit, der, mit dem Grün äh, sehr markant auf dem Auto, sondern sind wirklich von Anfang an ähm, unglaublich dahinter und unterstützen uns und sorgen dafür, dass wir erfolgreich Rennen fahren können und ähm, man sieht ja auch, dass neue Partner dann äh, auch, auch noch an Bord kommen und wir äh, einfach eine tolle Mannschaft haben und die unterstützen uns, die feuern uns an. Da geht es ja nicht nur darauf, einen Sticker irgendwo drauf zu kleben, sondern da geht es um, um viel, viel mehr und äh, gemeinsam wollen wir dieses Jahr wieder erfolgreich sein und angreifen. So well. Yeah, I think it's super important to have uh, great partners on board. Uh, I mean, I think most of the partners we have on the car are here since day one. So, Uh, they know us, we know them, and uh, I'm personally just very happy to have them on board. I think um, probably one partner that we need to highlight here is Scheffler because they've really been uh, heavily into it uh, from the first day. They believed into the project, helped us uh, win races uh, and, and championships. Um, and I have to say every partner, it's, it's not just about having a sticker on the car or something like that. It's really uh, that we feel that they support us, the, the motivation, the passion that is behind that. I think that is much more important and uh, we as drivers, of course, we have the job to make them happy.